Hey guys, welcome back. Today, let's talk about why you might not be able to catch up your profits in cryptocurrency. I'm here to warn and foreshadow what may happen to the crypto world. Because we have a little bit of situation here that seems like Emperor's new clothes. Everything may come collapsing in the crypto world if enough people blow the whistle. I'm usually early on calling out bullshit. I would like to share and read this chain of tweets by Steven for you guys to understand what is really going on in the crypto world. So before we begin, do help me out with your thumbs up for this video, thank you. So the first tweet goes like this, he said and I quote, Let's talk about surrogate money scams and how they are used to cover up the liquidity crisis at the heart of the global crypto fraud. Contrary to myth, it's actually entirely legal for private companies to issue private money, but with some form of limitation. So let's say for example, whenever you buy a Starbucks gift card or top up the mobile app, you're effectively trading your dollar or pounds for Starbucks. Starbucks has around $1.6 billion in stock value. This is a great line of business for them because these dollars are locked into being spent at their coffee shops. And the company itself gets a giant pile of extra money they can spend anywhere. It is actually even better. Starbucks doesn't actually pay any interest on the balances held in the Starbucks app or the gift card. And when you buy these products, you are providing the company with effectively an interest-free loan. However, they take the money and deposit and invest the actual money and make a return on that float, which just has to exceed their liabilities. It's a good racket, and the only legal requirement is that they provide the cash equivalent of the coffee when you use their gift card. However, there's a key point that makes this legal. You can't walk into a Starbucks and redeem your gift card for cash. So gift cards are not a cash equivalent asset, since money can only flow in one direction. It turns out that if you did let people do that, most of the people buying your gift cards will be in organized crime and will use your service to take dirty money tied to the crime and turn it into clean funds. So you do it through your company and that is not legal or good for the business. There is a huge international market for laundering money because there are massive piles of money sitting around the world that not even the shadiest of the shady banks will touch because it's too risky. Now if you're a greedy crypto bro with loose morals, you don't see that as a problem but as an opportunity. And so they decided to build surrogate dollars for entities that are so insanely dodgy, no banks will touch them. And then they cut themselves in on that fraud. So these so-called crypto projects are effectively the crypto equivalent Starbucks gift cards, except that the accountants are constantly cooking their books and they are not redeemable for anything. So when you run an untouchable business, they can't legally operate anywhere in the US and Europe. It turns out that most banks don't want you as their customer because having their name on the front page of Wall Street Journal for ties to organized crime isn't so great for their business itself. If you're shut out of international banking and you run an offshore money transmitter service, you have a huge liquidity problem. You are constantly struggling to find dollars and set up new shell companies and new accounts before the old ones get frozen or investigated. Cryptocurrency exchanges are constantly playing a game of cat and mouse with the FBI, FinCEN and the long arm of the Justice Department because the only real purpose of using crypto is doing things that are otherwise illegal. Where customers wire money to exchanges in the Cayman Islands, the operators immediately run off with the cash. In order to keep the illusion of liquidity, they issue these IOU stable coins and pretend that they are redeemable because there's no actual real dollars anywhere. If we were to take any one of these allegedly multi-billion cap crypto coin schemes, what we actually have is a bunch of people who think they have a claim on some of these billions of dollars where the amount of real dollars is far far less and it is likely in the tens of millions. So to paper over this liquidity crunch, people keep issuing billions of unbacked stable coins which do nothing but obscure and transfer the risk from one asset to another. When exchanges trade dollar stable coins, it's because there's no real money anywhere for withdrawals. And he continues saying and I quote, if even a tiny fraction of people decide to redeem their magic beans, it will quickly run into the lot of the flies with customers fighting over 1-2% to dollar reserves of the alleged value of the token and there's no deposit insurance or reserve requirement of any of this. So the entire crypto space to him is a house of cards just waiting to collapse on this inevitable liquidity crisis. Naive investors buying into the crypto scam need to understand a simple fact. Number 1. Paper wealth is not real wealth. And number 2. Notional value does not factor in risk. There is insane counterparty risk associated with the notional value of this unregulated crypto. And if you are trusting a shell company in the Cayman Islands make due to its debt, then you are a fool. So this is it folks. Just a reminder that 80% of cryptocurrencies are bought using stablecoin like Tether. The accounting practices is opaque. We do not know how much Tether is printed to artificially inflate the whole market. Imagine the whole cryptocurrency cap as an opaque ceramic pot covered with a lid such as this one. We say that the market cap is worth $2.1 trillion in the ceramic pot now, but who knows? So only those who investigated and opened the lid knows that there isn't enough money to go around paying everybody. Maybe half the market cap is inflated. Maybe a quarter of this is inflated. To me, the whole game is just rigged. So in my next video, I'll show you a solution on how to cash out your cryptocurrency should the day come. And I think I'm the only YouTuber that knows this solution, so stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this quick informative video. Do remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you in a short while with the next video. I'll see you next week.